Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. This is a USB foot pedal. It has a center button, left, right. Uh, normally these are used by people who do a lot of transcribing. So the idea is that uh, you obviously have an audio file or a video file. You're listening to it, say, in VLC Media Player and you're doing transcribing. So you have to listen and you have to type like mad what everybody's saying. So obviously it's kind of inconvenient if you have to do like control space or something to play and pause VLC or use the mouse to go, you know, over to VLC and play and pause while you're trying to type what people are saying. So what transcribers generally do is they get one of these. This is a VEC Infinity 3. Uh, it is a rather heavy foot pedal. It gets rave reviews on Amazon. Uh, as I said, it's three buttons, so normally you do the center one is play, pause, this is rewind a bit, and this is fast forward a bit. There are all kinds of other pedals out there, um, like Olympus makes one, Philips makes one, they're even, you know, name brands, not so name brands. Uh, most of them kind of get bad reviews. Uh, this Infinity, VEC Infinity pedal is the one that uh, apparently most transcribers choose. And, um, yeah, it's very heavy. It doesn't slide on the floor. It has a good uh, button feel, um, as long as you're not wearing uh, thick-soled shoes anyway. And, right, it's about $65 on Amazon.com. So you get yourself one of these pedals. Now, of course, you're probably going to get a pedal to use with certain software. The problem there is that some pedals work with some software, but not with others, and it gets kind of complicated. So the solution to that problem is to download and install a free application from NCH software called Pedalable. So let me show you how to do that. So I plug my foot pedal in. Uh, Windows is going to detect it. So then I go over here to nch.com.au slash foot pedal. Uh, you can also just Google uh, uh, Pedalable space NCH. It'll take you right to this download page. So I'm going to say, yeah, go ahead and download now keep and go ahead and run it and yeah I agree with your terms finish now it's going to tell you that pedalable cannot find a pedal that's okay don't worry so you have a little splash screen here obviously the actions for left center and right are not defined and it says no pedals found so just click on options uh, first here uh, you can choose if pedalable should run on startup I don't like that because I don't like to clog my windows starting with all kinds of stuff I don't really need so I usually turn that off and then here under foot pedal options for pedal type I'm going to pick VEC Infinity USB. Now you click on the foot pedal setup button and it's going to say press the rewind pedal so with your foot you just go over here and you do there's the rewind pedal there's the fast forward pedal and that's the play pedal. All right so it's all set up. Now you have the repeat rate, which is like when you put your finger on a keyboard key, how many times does the letter D show up and, you know, per second you can change that if you want. You can also enable pedal shift. That allows you, it's just like a keyboard, if you hold down the shift key and press one of the three uh, pedal buttons, uh, it will do something different than if you're not holding down the shift key. I don't need six different options, three is plenty for me, so I leave that unenabled. There's an auto repeat option, you can also have it play a sound whenever you tap your foot on the pedal. But we're kind of done, so we'll just click OK. It's going to prompt to do some crazy stuff. All right. Now we're going to go over into VLC. And in order to configure the hotkeys in VLC, we go to Tools, Preferences, and click on Hotkeys. Now you'll notice here we have, say, Play Pause and Very Short Backwards Jump and Forwards Jump. Uh, the hotkeys are listed. These hotkeys only work when the focus is on VLC. In other words, you have the VLC media player window in the foreground. The global hotkey is sort of a desktop level thing, so even if you're, say, typing in Word and VLC is in the background, the global hotkeys will still work. That's what we want to make pedalable work. So for play pause, we're going to double click, and I want control shift space for play pause. For very short jump backwards, global key, I'm going to say control alt left, and very short jump forward the global hotkey, I want control alt right. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to have to restart VLC. So I'll do that. So now we need to actually define the keys in Pedalable. So for the left, I'm going to double click on the action. 
it says left, and I have uh, multiple options. I can send a key combination, which is what I want. You can also emulate the left, middle, or right mouse click buttons when you tap one of the, the pedal buttons. Uh, you can also execute a command or even have it insert text. So this is pretty powerful, but what I want is send key combination. So for left, uh, in here I type the keys individually. So I want control, alt, left arrow, finish. For right, I want send key combination, control, alt, right arrow. And for center, which is my play pause, I want to double click it, say send key combination, control, shift, spacebar, finish. Okay, so that's it. Now we can go back in VLC. We've configured the same global hotkeys in VLC and in pedalable. So now I can tap the center button and it plays. I can also make it jump forward. Hi, welcome to Tribble Tricity, what it is. Or I can make it jump backwards it. with Something the left like pedal. Tricity, what it is and how to fix it. And I can pause. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Now you might be thinking, well, that's great, Scotty, but I'm not a transcriber. Ah, because with pedalable, you can actually configure your three button foot pedal to do either any single key or key combination on your keyboard, uh, mouse clicks, or to even run applications or even insert text, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Uh, if you go on the NCH website and you read about Pedalable, their awesome, totally free software, uh, you can use it even with things like games. So imagine like you know, you've got your keyboard, you're running around, you got your mouse, and then you have a foot pedal and you can program the center button for like, you know, fire, alt, missile, three or something, and left and right is, you know, strafe left and right, or, you know, whatever you want to do. The point is that you're not just limited to a keyboard and mouse, you've now got a foot pedal, where you can just kind of use your, your foot to do certain things. Uh, I'm going to try and use it uh, when programming, because there are certain, you know, keystrokes or mouse clicks or something that I can actually make pedalable do for me, and, right, that's pretty cool. So it's not just for transcribers, it's something very nifty, and with the pedalable software, you have uh, essentially an extra input device. You got a keyboard, you got a mouse, and you got a foot pedal, and you can do three different things with it. So it's pretty cool, and it's very powerful with the pedalable software. Uh, finally, go to NCH's website and click on products, and you'll note that they have all kinds of other software. Uh, much of it is actually free. And, like, these guys have made all kinds of cool stuff. Everything from, like, invoicing software to, like, managing schedules to audio editing to video editing software. And much of it, as I said, is free. Or you can at least download a trial version and then pay a, usually a very small fee to get the full version. So they have all kinds of other cool software, which I will also be checking out and possibly making more videos on. So that's it. Grab yourself a foot pedal and go nuts. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.